Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV. On today's quick tips video, I'm going to show you why you should brew by weight instead of volume. Let's have a look. All right, so why should you brew by weight instead of by volume? It's very simple. Not all coffee is created equal. And especially when you're brewing by volume, you're depending excessively on the size of the coffee. Now let's take a step back. Brewing coffee is a simple process of using water to extract the water soluble uh, components of the ground coffee. That means all that matters is the mass of coffee that's in there. Uh, and what I'm going to show you today is that a tablespoon of e all three of these is different. That there's a different amount in each of them. Uh, this is a nice darkly roasted coffee. This is actually fairly light. Um, but this is definitely lighter than, than this coffee. As the beans go, as the coffee is roasted darker, the coffee expands in the roasting process. This is as uh, water escapes and then the oils expand, um, the coffee beans get larger and larger. If you notice, uh, ever notice in a store, look at a pound of dark roast versus a pound of light roast if you can. You'll see that the bags are very different sizes, but they weigh the same. Uh, but that's what I'm going to show you right now. So these are three different coffees, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you a tablespoon of all three and uh, just show you that they are indeed quite different. So I went ahead and ground all three coffees so that I can give you the most consistent uh, tablespoon amongst the three. Um, and a little bit of a challenge with this scale because it's white on white, so I'm going to have to do that, cover things up. Just weighing the tablespoon that I'm going to use so you can see we're equaled out. Now I'm going to go with the darker of the roast first. And try to give a leveled tablespoon of this. All right. That's a dark roast. You can see it's a pretty level tablespoon. Here we go. See, that's about 4.6, 4.7 grams in this tablespoon of this darker roast. Okay, that's a little dirty, so I'm going to just set it aside for these lighter ones. Okay, this is the one that's in the middle. Just going to leveling this off here. Come on now. There we go. It's looking pretty good. All right. It's a pretty level. There we go. And 6.2 grams. So 6.2 grams of coffee in the tablespoon of this coffee. And now the lightest of the three. Oh, this one's only slightly lighter than the one I just did in terms of roast level. There are other uh, components which are much harder for me to measure, uh, mainly that also taking into account um, green coffees are different from one variety to the next. But there's our tablespoon. This one's also 6.2 actually, so. And this is actually a fair point. Uh, this is indeed roasted a little bit lighter than this one. Uh, so this takes up more space um, by weight than this, uh, but they clearly have the same amount in the tablespoon. So I might have to come back and do this video again sometime with a medium roasted coffee, but my point remains, the dark roasted coffee was 4.6 4.7 grams in the tablespoon, while well, these two were 6.2. And the point of all this is that if you are making, if you're brewing coffee and you're using scoops, the like four scoops or whatever it is, the amount of coffee that you're putting in there is not the same one coffee to the next. And what really matters is the soluble components. 
it's water getting the soluble components out of this coffee and that has to do entirely with mass so if you want to make a consistent brew you need to use a scale and uh, just remember that on your coffee journey yeah these are too similar they're different this is definitely lighter I'll definitely do this video again and find a more medium coffee that should come out to about five and a half grams in a in a tablespoon but there you have it why you should brew by weight instead of by volume